I know a couple people that are ecstatic over your forecast. You might be getting a big hug here in just a bit, Taylor, so stand by for that because joining us on the Davenport, uh, the president spokesperson for the Capital City Pride Festival, Dan Jensen, and the event director, Hillary Gardner. Uh, first off, good morning to both of you. It's a weekend of fun for everybody that starts today. Absolutely. What's happening this year? Um, well, we have a lot going on. Um, this year we've really focused on making events and activities that are you know, open and welcoming to everybody. So both the LGBTQ community, allies, friends, family, everyone's welcome and there should be something for everyone. That's kind of the, the idea is that make it a, a community event, right? Because that's, that's what we are here in the metro community. We are a diverse uh, population. Uh, we are a, a pretty welcoming population here and we kind of have each other's back. How many people are you expecting this year? Because this event, I remember it 10 years ago when it wasn't over in the East Village, it was more toward the Western Gateway. It's gotten bigger and bigger every year. We're hoping for 20,000 this year. Wow. We had about 10,000 last year and we have um, really kicked up our programming. So we're more uh, a week instead of a weekend. So we really kicked off last weekend. And with this kind of a forecast, I think we're gonna have <laughs> Maybe even 25,000. Well, <laughs> you're in charge of uh, the events, Hillary. What uh, is it music based? Uh, when will the, is there a parade going on this yep. year? Yep. Lay it out for us. So I'll talk about Saturday. I run Brenton um, Skating Plaza and we kick off tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. with a fun run. And then at 9 a.m. we have a pet parade, which is a huge event. Um, 11 o'clock is community yoga. And then from 12 to five, we're sponsoring a children and families area, which is new and kind of in its infancy this year. And uh, we have programming from noon to five. We are partnering with Blank Children's Hospital and Unity Point. And then um, the East Village, we'll let Dan talk about. That's kind of my area and where okay. I'll be tomorrow. Sure, in the East Village, we're kicking off at uh, 12 noon. So just with the um, city street festival. Yep. Um, on the street festival, we have a health and fitness zone. And then at the Capitol, we're having two events. One is the 10 Years of Love, recognizing 10 years of marriage equality in Iowa. Yep. Um, the second is a Meet the Candidates um, event. So we have eight presidential candidates that are, will be attending um, and speaking to the community. Um, that goes from uh, 1.30 to 5. Then the street festival itself goes until 12 p.m. All day we have a main stage with a variety of talent. I've seen that, yes. Yeah. So we have um, main stage uh, performers. Our headliners are Big Frida tonight, actually. Yep. And then tomorrow will be Parson James. Uh, and finally, before we go, what would you like people to keep in mind? As we talk Pride Fest here in the 41st edition, what, what's the message you have for, for everybody in this community? Maybe mm -hmm. they haven't experienced it yet. Maybe they just feel like, well, I'm not really a part of the community. What would your message be to those folks? Um, I think our message is, please come down and meet us. Come down and have some fun and just participate. It's, it's gonna be a great event. Do you wanna mention, we're kicking off this year, Allies Wear Pink. So we are asking allies of the LGBTQ community to wear pink t-shirts on Saturday and Sunday to visual, visually so, show their su support. Very good. Uh, it's a, it's a, a friendly group, it is a fun group. And it's all about coming together. Uh, first off, I just want to thank Dan and uh, Hillary for coming on. We uh, hopefully got your back with the weather. <laughs> and uh, it's up to you now. We'll see you out there. Thank, thank you, you for so having much. Us. You